What do you want, Gibbs? Just letting you know that we're watching you, that we have you on our radar. We're going to lock on you, and we're going to take you down. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. That's Mark Harmon, of course, getting to the bottom of another difficult case on the hit CBS series NCIS. After a decade in that role, he is still at the top of his game, as Tracy Smith shows us in this Sunday profile. Be Mark. He's arguably the biggest star on TV. Action! But what makes Mark Harmon's story truly remarkable yeah. are the things he's done when no one's watching, things he rarely talks about. More on that later. Cut! But first, what millions see every week. Harmon's show, NCIS, the police procedural that airs on this network, happens to be among the most watched shows on television. It's reliable in that the good guys always win. Shouldn't someone be reading me my rights? You have no rights. You're a terrorist on a U.S. Navy ship. And we're invoking the Patriot Act. And funny, in a sly kind of way. You know, don't put your pants on. It's also durable. NCIS you know. is just now wrapping up its 10th hey, season. Let's go back to 2003, when NCIS started. How long did you think this ride would last? All actors think their ride is going to last forever. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of naive. Um, or I am, anyway. On screen, the 61-year-old Harmon is agent Leroy Jethro Leroy. Gibbs, lead investigator and man of few words. That's not nothing. No, that's something. It's like you, Ams. Off screen, his castmates say he has pretty much the same strong, silent style. This is the best job in the world. Is Mark in real life anything like Gibbs? Hmm, yes-ish. He's really pleasant person to be around with. <laughs> because there's none of that. There's none of that me, 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 me. You know, it's, it's kind of nice. Pretty ordinary Joe. With the yeah. number one show. It's a pretty, pretty ordinary Joe for a guy who is the biggest TV star in the world. You waste not, you want not. The show, his show, draws around 22 million viewers a week. Harmon won't take any of the credit for that, or really much of anything. Why don't you take the credit? Eh, it's, it's too early. It's not just this show I'm talking about. You never take the credit. I am, well, yeah, I just, because I don't believe it's just me, you know? I believe we all do it together here. I do. The team concept has always been important to him. The son of Heisman Trophy winner Tom Harmon, Mark grew up tossing a football and wound up as a starting quarterback at UCLA. After graduation, he tried his hand at jobs as diverse as carpentry and corporate sales, and he took acting classes at night. When I told my mom and dad that I was going to really try to go 100% and be an actor, I mean, my parents were supportive, but they thought I was out of my mind. <laughs> Did their minds change as time went on? Well, eventually, yeah. <laughs> As an actor, he's always been willing to take a risk. As Dr. Bobby Caldwell in St. Elsewhere, he was one of the first primetime characters to contract AIDS. I just sprained. And in the highly regarded TV movie, The Deliberate Stranger, he was eerily believable as serial killer Ted Bundy. Hi, my name's Ted, by the way. The Bundy role was a stretch. I was glad to, to put that one away when it was done. Don't move at all. I'm a federal officer. Harmon seems Don't more comfortable reach. playing characters on no, this side of the law, there. like a Your Secret Service there. agent in the West Wing. Sir, I hate to be a problem customer, but I'll get a Milky Way bar pretty soon. But in a job where, as an actor, he's expendable, Mark Harmon is drawn to things that last. A world away from the NCIS set, on the windy streets of Oklahoma City, he has quietly made a difference. How did you drag Mark Harmon to Oklahoma? Mark and I. Harmon and a small group of friends, like Dr. Michael Wright, have expanded the Oklahoma City Indian Clinic, which now serves 3,500 kids. It was just two rooms. Just a couple of rooms, rooms. down here. Two rooms, not even, well, a little bigger than that. Harmon and friends hold a charity baseball game every year, with the money going toward everything so from nutrition counseling today? to new buildings. If we can lend our time and impact okay, this place this like, different. you know, obviously we have. <laughs> you like that solid wall. I do. I, I, yeah, I like, I like that it's there. I like that it'll remain there. But Mark Harmon's life hasn't always been this, well, serious. 
In January 1986, he was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, an honor immortalized on Saturday Night TV. Oh, dear. That is what sex is all about. Do you think you'll ever live down being the sexiest man alive? <laughs> I, I don't, I never even accepted living it up, you know, <laughs> I, I, to be honest with you, I, I don't know who in their right mind could ever take that seriously. But believe me, there are guys who do. Not long after he was named Sexiest Man, he met and married his match, Pam Dauber, Mindy, in the series with Robin Williams. Well, whenever we have an allergic reaction, we sneeze. Like, you know, I like a chew. Well, that's what happens when we eat burritos. <laughs> after the first of their two children was born, Harmon made a conscious decision to stick closer to home. I left to do a movie in New Guinea, and our oldest had just taken his first steps the day I left. And I came back three months later, and he got out of the car by himself and walked up the sidewalk and grabbed onto my leg at the airport. And I turned to my wife and I said, hate to tell you, but I'm not going to be doing new, you know, movies in New Guinea for the rest of my life to be able to afford the house we're in and miss all this. Despite his being a father, or maybe because of it, he once did something you usually only see in the movies. On a quiet night in January 1996, Two teens crashed their car near the Harmon's L.A. home. One kid crawled free. The other was trapped in the car and burning alive. Harmon broke the car's glass with a sledgehammer and pulled the trapped boy out of what was by then an inferno. There was very little time. And when I broke the window to get to him, it fed oxygen. It, the, the fire went from a two to a seven, like that. I grabbed for him once and caught his belt, upside down, blind in the car. He came out on his back in one push. The fire had burned through the seatbelt. If you think about it, you maybe respond differently. You can't even take credit for that. I won't take credit for it because if the car blows up and I'm there next to the car, then you're talking about two young boys who don't have a father. And you'd be doing this interview with my wife and talking about how stupid it was. The young man Harmon pulled from the car was horribly burned, but he survived. What do you think would have happened to you if it weren't for Mark Harmon? Uh, well, I mean, I know I would, have, I would be dead. I mean, Colin Specht is now 33 and works as a personal trainer in L.A. The tattoos on his arms and legs are camouflage for scars and skin grafts. Once he got you out and got you on the ground, about 10 seconds later, the car blew. It literally blew up. People always say, like, oh, is he your angel? I'm like, Mark Harmon's not an angel. He's more, because an angel has no sense of mortality. I mean, this man had a wife and kids at the point. It wasn't just a good guy. It was somebody's husband and somebody's father. And maybe that, that's what helped guide him to it, because he was like, I'm somebody's son. And he went in there and just pulled me out. And it was, I mean, I don't know, it's amazing. Leon, this is fun. NCIS will be back for an you know. 11th season next year. Leroy? With Harmon as Gibbs still in command. I didn't know if you'd recognize me. What if the folks here came to you and said, we think Gibbs needs to be killed? Rock on. Really? I, 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 it's the thing. I'm a, I'm a team guy. You know, I mean, it's like, if that's, I, I think anybody can, can leave. I think we all think that here. It's not an actor's choice. Our, our choice is to, is to play the role. And that's all I've ever tried to do. My choice. I wouldn't have it any other way. Given its current rating success, the show may last for another 10 years or more. If it does, Mark Harmon probably won't want any credit for that either.